here. So just got home from work and wanted to jump right into doing a review as I mentioned in the video that I posted earlier. I've been slacking and I'm really really sorry about that um, but now I'm starting to get back on track. So I'm going to do a review of two products that one I've had for a while the other one I just picked up. The first product that I am going to do, be doing the review on is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Foundation. Now I picked this up say probably three four weeks ago and have been using it on a regular basis. The product that I just picked up however is the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. Now the... I can't even see the color on here. It's just super super light. CW02 I'm assuming is the color. Oh, CW02. Fair. I picked this one up and it's a lot lighter than any concealer that I have used before but it's because I use it mostly for highlighting. So I am wearing both the concealer and also the HD Photogenic Foundation today. Um, as far as the Photogenic Foundation, I wear it in HDF04 Sand Beige and I just really am in love with this foundation. It's there's no sunscreen in it. Um, my face just looks not matte, but not super, super shiny either. Um, I'm going to come in a little close. There we go. Can you see? There we go. Um, I mean, it's, it's really good coverage. I have not blotted today. I have not applied any more powder today. This is my face after a shift at work and I worked four hours today and I put my makeup on about, oh, let's see here, and my camera is like, what the hell? Okay, we good? We good? We good? We're good. Okay, so impressions of the HD Studio photo. And anyway, um, it does soften lines. That is one of the claims that it has. It's sort, it's a thicker foundation. It has a pump. I love that. Um, I'm just gonna do a little bit on my hand because I don't want to lose any, you know, any product. But it's a little thicker, so. But it does glide on well. Now with this one in particular, though, I use a stippling brush, and I don't know if. Sorry. See, this is what's going on. Um, I don't know if a lot of people use a stippling brush for applying their foundation. I like it with certain foundations I have. Um, with the NYX HD Studio Foundation, I find that the stippling brush works better for me. I'm able to push it into my skin instead of brushing over. So I really, really, really like how I look. Um, and, and it stays. And I'm not constantly worrying about how my face looks. And I'm not constantly worrying about do I have to blot. Um, I do have a couple of foundations where like four or five hours into the day and it looks like I've got nothing on, like I didn't even apply anything and, and, and I, I just kind of feel like that's a waste of money if that's the case. Okay, so next I'm going to move on to the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. As I mentioned, I have this in fair, much, much lighter than I have ever done before. Um, and of course, you know, like I said, I'm using this as a highlighter. Um, Zoom in again. Doo, doo, doo. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, it did not crease under my eyes. That's just my crazy bags. You know, because us ladies carry our baggage. Um, it highlighted really, really well as far as highlighting what I needed it to highlight. And then it just stayed there. And I didn't have to worry about reapplying any concealer or how was it going to look after I put it on. Um, and when I say this is light, like this is really light. And obviously my skin is not... Like, look at how light that is. Like, seriously? Are you kidding me? But it works really well. It's super, super creamy. And I really, really, you know, I wasn't... Oh, my goodness. See? There it goes again. I wasn't going to purchase this um, concealer because I do have a concealer that I really... I love. But Nicole from Young, Wild, and Polished was talking about this and how this has, like, become her new favorite concealer. And she has not steered me wrong yet. Um... I got this for $2.36 because it was on sale. Um, they were having this huge NYX sale over at Ulta Beauty. Um, like I said, she did not steer me wrong. So these two together, I absolutely adore. Um, 
So my review for these two products individually for myself I give the NYX HD Photogenic Foundation a 9 out of 10 for the HD Photogenic Concealer I give it a 9 out of 10 as well. I would love to give them both a 10 but I haven't been using them as long as I would like to in order to say that. But for uh, the month, almost month that I've been using the foundation, that's why I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. I found that this has become my go-to foundation. Um, and I, I, So yeah, so um, if you haven't tried the NYX foundations and concealers, I do highly recommend it. You can get, get them at Ulta Beauty. I guess now Target is carrying NYX Cosmetics, so if you have a Target near you but you don't have an Ulta, go in. You can purchase the NYX Cosmetics off the Ulta Beauty and Target website. Um, or you can go to the NYX website themselves and a lot of products that you'll find on the website you're not going to find actually in the stores either. So um, that is my review. So we're good. Um, what do you think of the NYX foundation and concealer for the HD Photogenic? Leave a comment below. You know, and, and if there's something that you would like to try but you're afraid to and you are worried about wasting your money on something that isn't going to work, <clears throat> excuse me, again, Comment down below. Let me know what it is. I'll, you know, I'll go out and I'll buy it. Like I said, I'm a foundation horse, so if it's foundation, you know, we're good to go. But anyway, so that is my review of the HD Photogenic Concealer and Foundation. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. NYXCosmetics.com. Check out their products if you haven't checked them out. I've got another video coming tomorrow as well. I'm kind of busting out some videos right now just because I have been lapsing really, really bad um, just with everything that's been going on. But um, I'm hoping to get back on track, and there should be three videos a week. So that's what you guys can look forward to. More than likely, it's going to be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If not Friday, then Saturday. So, um, you know, we'll just be busting those out. Again, I've got the daughter tag coming up. I've got the son does my makeup coming up, which is hilarious and uh, yeah so I hope you guys enjoy it have a great day uh, remember to tell the people you love that you love them and remember to love yourself because that is the hardest thing that we can do so I'll see you soon be back in two and two bye Like the leg just kicked in on me. Like seriously? Sorry. Sorry y'all. Sorry. Someone was screwing with my tripod. Someone is going to die. Sorry. The See, light is changing. This is what happens when you have children. So my daughter has no light in her room. Her light has completely died. We can't get it to turn on at all. It's not the light bulbs or anything. You flip on the switch and it just doesn't come on. So she's been using my lighting um, tripods. And so yeah. So that's why the lighting's really weird. So I had to open up my window and you know I'm not a fan of the way the lighting looks. But that's just me. Look at the color difference. I'm kind of a foundation whore. Let's just put it out there. I'm kind of a foundation whore. Like, I was looking through my makeup, and I have more foundation than anything else. I have, and I've got more foundation coming. Like, I'm waiting for a package to show up right now that has more foundations for me to try. Um, I think it's just, I, I feel like I've lost my foundation virginity, and now I just want to hop from bed to bed to bed to bed. And that's a horrible analogy, but that's kind of how I feel, because I finally have that confidence with applying my foundation and going, okay, well, this doesn't work if I use it this way. Well, let's try using it this way, or ooh, let's mix this with this and see what happens. Da -da -da -da!